Uh, volleyball. Yes. Oh. Number of times you can hit it before it's got to go back over. Oh, okay. oh. How many times in a row may a volleyball be struck by one train? The inevitability of playing a game of volleyball <laughs> in the knowledge that no matter how well you're going to do, that flipping train is going to turn up any minute and just ruin it and win. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The commentary would be p- easy, wouldn't you, bloke on the tannoy? They're still playing volleyball. They're still playing volleyball. They're still playing volleyball. The 1842 the is due. And there's the 550 from Cardiff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're quite close to the answer with, uh, with that joke there, Gary. What station is at the end of the Great Western Main Line? Exactly right. What at- London station does the Great Western Railway terminate at? And current volleyball champion. <laughs> <laughs> what, Brunel? Yeah. <laughs> Don't mock him. With his iron volleyballs. <laughs> Sorry. That sounds so painful. And that's not a euphemism. Or is it? How do you smash one of them? Painfully. No, with, with steam power, obviously. <laughs> oh, obviously. Steam with, volleyball. With trains. Hence why they're allowed to play <laughs> yeah. volleyball. Actually, I would watch that. Train yeah. volleyball with iron balls. Yeah. I'm oh. not sure it's actually practical, but I'd watch it. Uh, your last question, then. <gasps> Baseball and bridge. We are looking for something they have in common. An extra, an extra card in the box, the way I play it. So, so first of all, that's quite clever, but no. And secondly, what bat do you use in bridge? Cricket, and it speeds it up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fair. Was there ever an iron baseball? Because you could say both have been designed by Brunel. <laughs> This Tom. ball is superior to all others. Thong. <laughs> it's also slightly too big for everything else as well. There is a reference to a buggy in here as well, so I imagine there was there was something else. You may have been she may have been. She was on a go kart. <laughs> Nine like Victorian oh, era go kart. Come on, Gary. It's an iron scooter. Oh. <laughs> Designed by Brunel himself. And then first reference to Brunel. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got your bingo cards, that must be lined. <laughs> yes. Then the uh, the train master. Oh! Behold! <laughs> the train master! Stood in front of it on the tracks and said, Halt! <laughs> it's the train master Brunel. <laughs> oh! God, this is some kind of engineering, isn't it? I think Isambard Kingdom Brunel will probably not, not count this under engineering. <laughs> but he didn't have these to play with. He didn't, that's true. It would have looked good if he did that. Oh. Isn't Bar King to Brunel with a perm? That would be a powerful look. Yes. Uh, so congratulations at the end of that. I think Gary, uh, you, you very clearly win this one. Uh, you win a restaurant that cooks lingerie over a box of hot coals that was previously owned by a famous civil engineer. <laughs> oh, God. It's uh, Brunel's Brasiers and Braziers Brasserie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>